our belief system really is that important like it, it takes every aspect of who you are and how you interact with society hey it's zana so changing your belief system which will literally help you manifest what you want because manifestation really is about your thoughts and beliefs but also about your intent so this video isn't really about actual manifestation and how to do it this is more just talking about your belief system because there's way more to it than just a belief that you hold you know so your belief system literally is just thoughts that you've thought so many times that you believe those thoughts and then the pattern of that and doing it to many different thoughts creates a system of beliefs that you hold and as we know like society programs us to hold certain beliefs in order for their own agenda I say society but obviously it's not the whole of society it's a select few of little motherfuckers I used to call them elites but we're not going to call them that anymore because they're not actually elite they just think they are but they're not I can't even think of a word I did think of peasant, but I don't think that really justifies it enough. I feel like it needs to be something more disgusting and vile because that is kind of what they are. But anyway, so <laughs> getting off topic, to change your belief system, that's how you manifest. But there's way more to manifestation than just a belief that you hold. So that will be a whole other video. But this video is really about actually changing your belief system and why you need to change your belief system because every thought that we hold on to and every belief that we have dictates how we interact with the world how we carry ourselves how we express ourselves how we communicate with others like the choices of career that we go after how we even feel about ourselves and our purpose and why we're here you know like our belief system really is that important like it, it takes every aspect of who you are and how you interact with society so that is obviously why they program specific beliefs into us on purpose because that's how they can control people it's basically mind control so changing your belief system is literally deprogramming your mind like in order to bring in new things that you want to believe you have to get rid of the old so this whole journey is reprogramming your mind you know and your mind has been programmed since birth from your parents from society from the school system from peers and friends from everything you know everything every experience that you've had through childhood has programmed your mind to believe certain things and so when you start to want to like shift your perspective and get yourself out of a rough situation or whatever it may be that you're trying to achieve it really is about deprogramming your mind and uncovering all of these things that you hold all of these fears all of these doubts all of these everything the good and the bad like you still need to be aware of the good as well so it really is about uncovering all of these things to then be able to change them to where you want them to go because it really does dictate every aspect of your life like it determines everything that you do you know so it's really important to change your beliefs and then once you change them and you get them to where you want them to be then all of the amazing opportunities that you're seeking all of the relationships like everything that you want will be able to come to you because you'll be in alignment with it you know everything runs on frequency so you'll be vibrationally in alignment with all of the things that you want and it will be able to come to you you won't have to like kill yourself trying to get it you know but it is about intent and that's why i feel like i need to make uh, another video on actual manifestation because there's way more to it than just your beliefs and even focusing on some shit uh, we're not going to get into that right now so as i mentioned in a previous video about like trying to change somebody else i think there's quite a few topics that i've touched on in other videos that will connect with this one because like it affects every part of your life you know and this is kind of the core of it this is like the foundation of every other thing that you go through like every other problem every other amazing experience it all comes down to how you feel about yourself which 
is stemming from your belief system, you know, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the world, how you feel about everything, everyone and everything stems from your belief system. So you need to change your belief system in order to see change reflected in your physical world, you know, it comes back to you, as I always say. But the thing that I'm actually talking about when I say that it comes back to yourself is your belief system. It's how you perceive the world. Your beliefs determine how you perceive the world. And I don't know if you've read um, the Kabbalion or the Hermetic Laws, but also known as the Universal Laws. One of them is the mind is all, the universe is mental. Like that's an ancient teaching, you know, that's a fact. That's not some random bullshit made up thing. The universe is mental and it's been proven by science so many times. Like we know that our mind creates our reality. We know this is a simulation. We already know all of this shit. And if you want more of that, I can put some links to other videos that will like really break down the science behind it. And like, if you want to research more into that, you can. Um, but it's been proven by science, you know, like we know this is a simulation, we know that our mind creates everything. So if that is the case, then that means that your thoughts and your beliefs create everything. Like that's literally what is proven. It's a fact. So in order to change your reality, in order to have the most amazing life that you want, you have to change your mind. And of course, our lives are not going to be perfect. This is the fucking human earthly realm like this place is not designed to be perfect have you seen the fuckery that's going on right now have you seen the fuckery that's always been going on like years and years and years you know this place is not designed to be amazing and all happy roses and flowers and all of that shit like that's not what this place is but that doesn't mean that it has to be horrendous for you because now that we're gaining more awareness, we're starting to actually shift things and elevate all of ourselves. Like the collective is starting to elevate themselves, which is going to change the types of things that we accept, you know. It's stopping this 1% of people that try to control everything and want to start wars and all of this. Like we're starting to shift the power that they hold you know, so that they can't then go and do all of that. Like, we're not here for it anymore, you know? We're not here for all of the craziness that's going on right now. None of us want it. So it does actually make an impact, even when you think that it doesn't. Every single person that tries to better themselves is making an impact, and it's really fucking important. Like, you might not think that it's important, but just you taking the awareness and learning how to respond to people out of love instead of out of anger or something, that, even that tiny thing, makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference because that's less anger and less hate in the world, you know? Like, it all adds up and we have to start somewhere. So, yeah, this video is just kind of to highlight the importance of your belief system and how it affects the entire collective, not just your reality, it affects everything, you know, because if we all were better in ourselves, can you imagine the level of like change that would happen? And it's already started because we're now starting to realize all of the things that are going on. Like, I really feel like right now, the idea of celebrity is really crumbling for real, like it's crumbling. If you look at all the things that have been going on lately, like with the Kardashians and that kind of drama, and now with people in Love Island, I know they're completely separate things and really traumatic, but like if you look at how we're starting to wake up to what that kind of culture is like, you know, like Hollywood and fame and all of that, and we're all starting to realize that it isn't what we thought it was, you know, it isn't this amazing thing that we all thought it was. You know, so many people were seeking fame and wanting to be successful, whatever that means. But now I really feel like the veil is lifting and people are actually seeing it for what it is and realising that we're all just people. We're all the same. You know, we're all just people. So whether it is somebody that's like well known or not, we're still all people. We still all go through the same thing. So yeah, anyway, I'm getting a little bit off topic, but this is just to say that our belief systems hold the key to our experience and once you face your beliefs then you can start to change them and I will do a video where I go more in depth of how to actually do that but I just wanted to highlight the importance of like why you need to do it you know so thank you so much for watching this video I know this one is probably chopped up 
again just like the last one because people be drooling on the day I want to film six videos which is just wonderful but thank you so much for watching all my links to social media and music and everything like that will be in the description box below and yeah until the next video I will see you soon bye I need a man that will hold me down if he a yes man I ain't keeping him around I need a